Okay, everybody, we got a woodchuck out here behind the house. We're going to get you a range on it. Okay, everybody, I'm going to show you a super easy way to get a range on a critter if you guys don't have a range finder with you. So I'm going to zoom out here and show you my phone. Okay, so that dot is our position right there. So what we're going to do is go to map tools and uh, line distance. And we're going to, okay, so you're going to do line distance. You're going to click where the woodchuck is where you are it's a little over 400 yards and we got to hurry because Brian is coming to with a lime spreader it looks like and he's going to be going up there so we don't have long to make this shot here Well, well, we weren't fast enough, everybody. He got there quicker than I could grab the gun to shoot, but I know where that woodchuck's at now, and he'll be in trouble next time he comes back out. We'll just wait for him. Okay, so we got the rifle set up right here behind me as you can see that woodchuck was like 435 yards or so so my rifle is set at 4.25 MOA for elevation it's totally still out there's no wind at all so as soon as Brian leaves from back there he's spreading lime it looks like in the hidden field we're gonna let him come back through and I got that woodchuck pretty well pinned at what hole he's at so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, make sure he sees, sees the light by the end of the night here. In fact, it's so hot out right now that he'd probably just rather die anyways, so we'll just oblige him. Okay, everybody, so you seen me just hammer that woodchuck. I had my uh, iPhone set up on my tripod and this little mount I just bought for it, so we'll see how that turns out. But the woodchuck that we were originally looking to kill never came back out after uh, Brian had come and came and uh, spread all that lime. So I've been watching for that bugger. He's going to die here soon, but he just hadn't come out yet. Let's go check out this woodchuck I just shot. And uh, let's dump these rocks out while we're at it. We made it to the scene of the, scene of the crime here. That woodchuck is totally dead. It was only about a 200 and, I'd say 220, 230 yard shot from the window up there with the 300 wind mag. I'll show you what we got going on here. Just a little woodchuck and it blew parts and pieces every which way when the round hit 168 grains here a match tip. If you're squeamy, look away now. Just gutted him. Gutted him right open. Very dead uh, grass muncher. There's another one I had seen over there in the corner when I just pulled into the field that's really in a lucky spot because I can't see it from the uh, from the house where he's at, which is would be why he's still alive, but I'm going to keep a special eye on him now. Okay, so I just got in the house uh, not even 10 minutes ago from shooting this woodchuck that was in the field right here behind the house, and uh, that woodchuck that I was telling you about that ran in the hole last week when uh, Brian went to spread lime. He's out right now. He's right up there in that same hole in the corner that he was in the other day and ran in. I never got a shot at him. So we're going to go ahead and set our rifle up here for it's 430, 425 yards to that woodchuck. So we're going to go 4.25 MOA for elevation. 
windage is going to be zero. There's absolutely no wind at all out there right now. So we're going to go ahead and get this set up. And we're going to get this set up on this tripod. And I got my phone set up as well. So we're going to look at the shot through the spot and scope. We're going to go ahead and launch one here and get that bugger killed. Well, as you guys seen, uh, I missed it on the first shot. I think I shot right over that bugger on the very first shot. But uh, I hurried up and racked another one in, and I got it killed on the second one. So I know I owe you, I owe you ten push-ups. So we'll go ahead and knock those out right now. Okay, we got ten push-ups knocked out. Let's uh, let's go check out that woodchuck before it starts raining. Okay, let's go check out that uh, last woodchuck I just shot. He was a little over 400 yards, but we have uh, some gator issues here. Maybe maybe there's some mechanics on my channel that uh, tell me about what's going on right there. I don't know if, if uh, obviously something's not right. It's making all kinds of racket and rubbing like crazy right there. And there's a bunch of metal shavings down there that certainly I don't think are supposed to be there so uh, yep the old gator is gonna have to go get get some uh, attention here pretty soon these shocks absolutely suck too I've got those replaced like five times and every time you replace them they blow they're all blown out but who knows these gators, I don't know. I don't know if I'd get another one. Let's go check this woodchuck out. Okay, we made it to the scene of the crime. Here's that woodchuck's hole right here. And I know why I shot a little high the first shot. I thought it was a lot closer to the end of the field. I thought it was kind of right on the edge of the field, which would be another uh, 35, 40 yards. So uh, I just thought he was a little farther than he was and shot right over him that first shot. Right there's the splash, and then the second one got him pretty good here. Just a little, little tiny woodchuck, another little baby. Very dead little baby. Shot him right from there. Any woodchuck that's living right out in this area that I can see from the house is in a world of shit really bad place to call home but I think that's gonna I think that's gonna do it for this video uh, hope you guys enjoyed it we'll have lots more chuck killing to come and getting ready to plant food plots here at the end of the month that wheel is really causing some problems making all kinds of racket and stuff so uh, hopefully we can get home and yeah there's metal shavings all over the place not good <laughs> I don't know what the heck those are coming from but I know it's not good <laughs>